Hi. One of the most common recommendations I have for my clients for everything from peeing issues, behavioral problems, aggression problems, to emotional problems, uh, neglect, are using Bach flower remedies or flower essences. Now, what flower essences are, um, they were created by a man, a doctor named Bach. Uh, and I personally like the Bach remedies rather than the other ones, um, but I'll get into that. Uh, and basically the basics of it, it are that everything in the universe has a vibration. And what he did was he took flowers, different types of flowers, and he would put them in a bowl and put them in the sun and let them sit in the sun until the water got the essence of the flower. Then he would take out the flower and was left with the essence of the flower. Well, that each flower has a, ver a specific vibrational energy. I don't know how they make them now, but that's the theory. That's how they first were created. The theory is through the law of attraction that if you introduce a particular vibrational energy to a different vibrational energy, those are going to want to meet at some point. So if you've got an animal who has a lot of anxiety, then if you introduce a calming remedy, then the theory is over time with consistency that anxiety is going to want to match the energy of the energetic remedy that you are introducing. Um, so now Bach remedies are really easy to use. I've got a whole page on my website that tells you how to do it and explains it. And you can, you can look that, look at that down, um, in the information here. But basically what it is, is that you want to get a mixing bottle. And these are very inexpensive. I don't know, two or $3. I get them at some place called Vitacost, which again is on my site. And, um, to save money, even though the original outlay is going to be a little bit more expensive than, than I certainly like, um, again, I get them online, so I save a little bit of money that way. Um, but what you do is you get this mixing bottle and then you take the remedies. Let's say you you're using maybe five remedies, five to six remedies. So you can get those remedies and then you get the mixing bottle and then you just take two drops of that remedy and put it in water in your mixing bottle so that you're not consistently using that from your original bottle. So you can have a bottle of remedies that even though it's, it's the initial outlay for several bottles might, you know, might be $50 or something if you got, you know, four or five um, bottles, uh, you, those will last you a really long time if you use this mixing method. Then, you know, some people will use, put a little bit of uh, brandy or something in there as a preservative. If you think that you're going to use it over, you know, use it quickly, then you don't even have to do that. But the, the thing is you want to be consistent about it. They should, animals should have it um, four drops, four times a day from that mixed bottle. Now, if you're using rescue remedy in there, you want to put four drops of the rescue remedy into your mixing bottle. If you're using a, a regular remedy like Star of Bethlehem or Walnut, which I, both of those I recommend so often, then you're using two drops. Again, this sounds a little bit confusing. It, it's all, it's all written out on my website, but you're going to use from that mixing bottle, you're going to use four drops four times a day. Now, you certainly, with dogs, it's pretty easy. You can put it in their water and dogs drink a lot of water. With cats, it's probably a little bit harder, um, but you can, you can put it in their food, which will be twice a day. 
And then you can also take it, just drop a few little bit on your, on your hand and then take it and rub it on their ears or rub it on their paws just so that it gets into, the, into their system. And um, a lot of people are concerned because some of them, you know, the remedies come with, with, with an alcohol as a preservative, but by the time you mix it into this mixing bottle with water, it's so diluted it's not, it's not going to make a difference. There are remedies that you can buy that use glycerin instead um, if you're really concerned, but I've, knock on wood, I've not had a problem. And um, I particularly like the Bach flower remedies. Now, that's, you know, there are other people that really, really like the other, some of the other brands or they like the pre-mixed things. I am not a big fan of the pre-mixed uh remedies i've just not had good luck with them and my clients i've not heard good feedback the best feedback i've heard is people who use the bach remedies and mix them themselves and the thing about bach remedies or the thing about flower essences is that they're very very subtle and they're very very safe now don't get these confused with herbs or oils not the same thing you know i mean what i like about flower essences is that you can you can put together things for yourself by yourself and if you're using the wrong ones it's not going to you know it maybe won't help but it's not going to hurt if you use the wrong oil if you use the wrong herbs and you don't know what you're doing you can really really uh, do some damage to your pet. Uh, there, are, there are very, you know, there are certain oils that are very, very toxic to cats and dogs, horses. There are certain herbs that are very, very toxic. And unless you really, really are, are working with someone who has had extensive experience and, and knows how to use these things for animals, not just for people, because one of the problems with the oils is that people will say, oh, well, you know, I know how to use them for oils. And then they just say, oh, well, I'll give them to the animals too. Well, that, it doesn't work that way. They, their, their systems are different. So this is why I like these, even though they're very, very subtle. And the thing, the way that these work is that if you're consistent with them, you might not even notice a change right away. You, you will see something like, you know, maybe you'll, you'll go a few weeks and then you'll kind of go, huh, things seem better. I wonder why. And you don't even realize why. Oh yes, yeah, the flower essences. Or you will go through an entire bottle and then things will get worse and then you won't, you won't do it again. You won't mix it up again. And then all of a sudden things get worse and you kind of go, oh wow, I didn't even know that they were bad. I didn't even realize that they had gotten so better until now I see this, this change again. That's how they work. They're very, very subtle. But it's one of those things that, you know what? What have you got to lose? Now, one of the books that I really like is this book, Bach Flower Remedies for Animals. I like this because it's got actual recipes in that. Many of the books that you get, they're just, they're just a list, you know, like a, a chapter per you know, a couple of pages per remedy, and then it tells you about the remedy. But what I like about this is it actually gives you specific, uh, specific issues, behavioral issues, specific, uh, this one even has specific medical issues. Not that you shouldn't take your animal to the vet. You should always take your animal to the vet if you've got a medical issue. Uh, but it gives you the recipes so you can, you know, the way that I do this personally is once I've, you know, a lot of times when I recommend these to people, I will have talked to the animals. So I've gotten a good idea of what types of things they need. You know, I mean, is, is it resentment that they're feeling? Is it loneliness that they're feeling or whatever? So I might look at, look up the, the behavior uh, and then, you know, I might make some changes based on having talked to the animal, but this gives you a really, really good start. Again, this is on my website. Um, this is on my pause talk store, my Amazon pause talk store. 
and I'll link to this down here as well. Uh, so anyway, that's what flower essences are. Again, I think they're, they're a great resource because they're safe and uh, accessible and you can you know even though they're subtle it's just it's another it's another feather you can add to your quiver you know you can be doing I mean you it doesn't doesn't have to be done alone you can be doing Reiki you can be doing allopathic means for your animals or whatever but this is just something that you can add to it and again it's one of those things what have you got to lose and i had a lot of good feedback from my clients so it's just uh, another thing that you can add to your um to your list of of things that you might try for your pet okay thanks a lot we'll see you again bye bye